Today we'll be making health bars in only 5 minutes. You know those things that sit above your head and get smaller as you take damage? Of course you do. Alright, let's start the timer. Boom. To start out, let's create a capsule in our scene. Then we'll want to go ahead and make it yellow. And finally, I'll change the name of capsule to character. Then I'll make the canvas by right-clicking my character, hovering over UI, and then clicking Image. We need to make sure that the canvas's render mode is set to world space, and then I'm going to set up the transforms of both my canvas and image to make it look a bit better. There'll be a link in the description to download the health bar image that I've created. We'll need to make sure that that texture is set to sprite, 2D, and UI. Next, we'll set that texture to be the source image of our image game object. With that done, let's go ahead and duplicate the image twice to create a background image, a fill image, and a health bar image. I'm going to set the colors of these images to black, white, and red. Then I'll go ahead and scale down our fill and health bar images to make the canvas look more like a health bar. Finally, I'll scale the whole canvas up to increase the size of our health bar. Next, we'll need to make sure that our health bar image's image type is set to filled with the properties of horizontal and left. Now you'll notice when we mess around with this slider, the fill amount, the health bar sort of acts like a health bar. Now let's go ahead and create our scripts. In our health bar class, let's start out by removing the start and update methods. Then we'll want to create a public image variable for the health bar. We'll also need to import the Unity UI to actually get that working. Then we'll create a public method called update health where we pass in the fraction as a float variable. In this method, all we need to do is set the health bar's fill amount equal to fraction. Jumping back into Unity, what we want to do is add the health bar script to the health bar image game object and then assign the public variable. Back in our character class, we'll want to start by creating a few public variables, one for the max health and the other for the health bar. Then we'll also need to create a private variable for the current health. Let's assign current health to max health in our start method. And then finally, we're going to replace the update method with the public take damage method that's going to be passing in an integer for the damage. We'll start by reducing the current health by the damage. Then we'll need a way to update the health bar's UI. So let's call healthbar.updateHealth passing in the fraction. For the fraction, we're going to need to call current health and cast it to a float and divide it by the max health also casted to a float. The reason we need to cast a float is because if we divide integers by integers, the computer will do some weird calculations. Let's hop back into Unity and drag that character script onto the character game object. Let's also make sure we fill in all those public variables. I've added a custom button that lets us do damage to the character. So let's test that one out. In the look at camera class, let's first remove the start method. Then we're going to need to find a way to make the game object look at the camera every frame. So to do this, in our update loop, we we'll want to call transform.lookat. It's a trap! The other code won't work, make sure you type what's on screen right now. And finally, we'll need to drag the look at camera script onto all of the canvases that need to look at our camera. Now when we hit play, we can see whenever we move the character, the health bar is always facing in the camera's direction. Let's see what will happen when we deal damage to our characters. Hopefully you got your health bars working. If not, there'll be a link in the description down below where you can download all of the project files. 
If you're interested in learning how to make a full game from start to finish, there's a playlist I've created over here, which teaches you all of the fundamentals you need to start making games in Unity. Thanks for watching and have a great day.